Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss which is better, Obsidian or Logseek. Let's begin. So Obsidian and Logseek are both note-taking applications with a focus on connecting ideas and fostering a knowledge management system. Right? So here's a comparison of the two. So let's begin with Logseek. So this is designed for users who value the ability to create structured outlines, connect ideas at a granular level, and visualize relationships between blocks of content. So here, as you can see, you have like students, academics, writers, project managers, and even developers, all right? Now, the thing is, Logseek organizes information into blocks, allowing users to create, edit, and rearrange content at a granular level. Each block can be linked. Say, for example, here. Reference and manipulated independently, offering flexibility in structuring notes. And similar to bi-directional linking in other apps, Logseek enables users to reference and link blocks of content across different notes. And this allows for easy connections between related information. Now, it provides a visual representation of the relationships and connections between blocks of information, aiding in understanding the context and associations within notes. Now, Logseek supports real-time collaboration, allowing multiple users to work on the same document simultaneously. So this feature alone is very beneficial for teams or individuals working on collaborative projects. Notes are stored locally by default, but Logseek allows syncing across devices using various cloud storage services, enabling accessibility from different devices. Now, similar to many note-taking apps, Logseek supports markdown for formatting and structuring content. Logseek's emphasis on the block-level approach, interconnectedness, and the visual representation of relationships through its knowledge graph sets it apart in the realm of knowledge management tools, it offers a unique way of organizing information. It's a safe space for your thoughts, right? Designed to store your interest, questions, ideas, favorite quotes, reminders, reading and meeting notes easily, and future proof. I'm actually using um Logseek right now. It's really um really efficient in terms of storing my ideas and notes. It is open source, it's free forever, it has a strong community, privacy first, localization, mobile apps, and 150 plus plugins. You can mark down files, 30 plus themes, right? And they say it's always up to date notes between all your devices. You have the whiteboards and new canvas for your thoughts, right? You can just place any of your thoughts from the knowledge base or new ones next to each other on an infinite canvas to connect, associate, and understand in new ways. You can think faster, think better, and by thinking and writing with a log seek, you'll gain confidence in what you know and stop worrying about forgetting anything. If you want to click on the live demo, you will be directed into uh, this page right here. All right. So here's how log seek saves the work. Each page is a file stored only in your computer, and you may choose to sync it later. Graphics and documents, daily notes, pages, and whatnot. And say, for example, you click on the uh, community hub, you will be directed into uh, this page wherein you can. It's like a almost like an FAQs wherein you can um you can boost your knowledge with these information right here available to you every time you want and you can even join the uh, discord community click on that now we switch over to our next contender all right which is obsidian and if you have watched some of our comparison video between obsidian and the rest of the platforms you would know that it is a powerful knowledge management and note-taking app designed for individuals looking to organize and connect their thoughts, ideas, and information. It's built around the concept of a personal knowledge base, allowing users to create, link, and visualize their notes in a flexible and interconnected manner, right? If you're still following, basically it allows users to create links between different notes. So these links are bi-directional right 
meaning you can create connections between your notes link anything and everything ideas people places books and beyond invent your own personal wikipedia right and the app offers a graph view like such as this one right here and these um graphs visually represents the connection between your notes say for example this one books philosophy right and this feature alone helps users visualize relationships and patterns among their ideas okay it also uses um and supports a range of plugins right here developed by its community extending its functionalities because now users can customize their experiences by adding plugins for additional features or enhancements say for example calendar you know kanban by matthew Mayers, data view by michael brainan you know what i'm saying now the app itself also has the um automatically generates bank links showing which notes reference the current one and this feature aids in exploring connections and relationships between notes right here you can even publish instantly seamless editing customization and optimize for performance right now let's head over to uh, the side-by-side -side comparison and again for newcomers to mark down or the concept of bi-directional linking obsidian might have a steeper learning curve initially so by default obsidian stores notes locally well this can be beneficial for some users concerned about privacy it may it might make syncing and ac accessing notes across devices less straightforward for others and certain advanced features and plugins might be part of a paid subscription model which could be a downside for users seeking a completely free experience now while plugins extend functionality relying heavily on a community created plugins might pose issues if they're not well maintained or if there's a lack of updates in terms of logsy the block-based approach might have a steeper learning curve for users who are more accustomed to um, traditional note-taking methods or interfaces now it might take time to adapt to the block level organization and the associated functionalities now while logseek does have a web version the mobile experience might not be as optimized or feature rich as the desktop version meaning which could be a downside for users who heavily rely on mobile devices and compared to some other note-taking apps, Logseek might have a smaller community or ecosystem in terms of availability plugins, integrations, and third-party support. Now, of course, this could limit customization options and additional functionalities. Now, some users might encounter occasional syncing issues or delays when using Logseek, especially when syncing across different devices or with certain cloud storage services, all right? Our verdict is that when deciding between Obsidian and Logseek, consider your specific needs. If you prioritize bi-directional linking, a graph view, and an extensive plugin ecosystem, Obsidian might be the better fit. On the other hand, if a block-based approach, real-time collaboration, and a strong emphasis on the block-level connections are more important to you, Logseek might suit your workflow better. Now, both tools offer robust features for knowledge management, so exploring their interfaces and functionalities can help determine which aligns best with their note-taking and organization preference, right? And as always, you can go to their websites for obsidian.com where you can sharpen your thinking i suggest you go here and look for more information it's free anyway so that's what i did in the past because um although it's free for personal use basically obsidian has a commercial use for 50 dollars per year all right so you might want to take advantage of that but you have to use the uh platform first before you sign up to uh, their commitment it's the same thing with um logseek it pays to check all right just go here at their website to get more information right here it's available on mac os windows linux ios and android all right and that concludes our video for today thank you so much for watching guys we will see you again in our next video